I do believe, let me pick this thing up here. Hey, 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 reach for it. Reach for it. oxygen bottle. This is not cool, dog. I'm over here. Okay, you know, fuck you. I don't want you after, okay? I'll take this one. I'll take your friend. You jerk. Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon One-Shot. On the agenda, we have a drift here today, which is exactly what the corpse of this astronaut is doing right now. Slowly drifting towards me. It's actually kind of creepy. Um, this right here is not a horror game, it's not a creepy game. There is a big feel of isolation. The big theme behind the game is indeed isolation, but um, it's not particularly a horror game. What you are in this game is you are the captain of the space station. You awake in the middle of space, which is terrifying alone as it is, to find out that the entire space station has completely been blown up. Or well, not really blown up, but there's been some sort of cat catastrophic event that has led to the current state of this... Um, space station and you're trying to figure out what exactly happened and also how to get back how to contact back into earth to get some rescue over here so it's a really really cool game in that sense um i would probably classify this as one of those you know walking simulators in a sense where you're going from point a to point b to point c and trying to piece the story together as you go along but instead of walking since you're in space you're actually floating so it's not really a walking simulator we'll call it a floating simulator but um, it's also a game that encourages um, VR support. Now, I'm not really a big fan of the whole VR gimmick going on in gaming right now, but it is indeed Oculus supported and I guess other VR machines as well, or Vive, the Vive, the VRs. I'm not even sure, I don't even keep up with these because it's not really my thing, but I can tell you this much, even as a person who's not really interested in VR, um, I could see this game being actually amazing with the entire VR gimmick just because of the... Well, you know what, let's actually show you. So just as a bit of a heads up, um, we're going to be jumping into a preloaded um, save file of mine over here. I'm pretty sure if you've already seen um, footage of this game, you've already seen the start of the game, the early parts. I'm over here showing you something that happens midway. And again, I'm running blind through this as well, so don't expect me to be like, oh, I know exactly what's going to happen over here. But right now, the game controls pretty common, like any other first-person game. You know, you move around with your WASD. I think it's kind of like, you know, you could, you know, key it to another setup if you want. But for the most part, I'm running with WASD to move around. You could also do some flippies over here with the Q&E rotation. This honestly makes me really uncomfortable, so I don't do it too often. Okay. As you proceed through the game, essentially what you're looking for are audio logs, emails, um, possibly video logs as well to figure out exactly what happened and give you as the player a bit of background in terms of what happened. If you look at the bottom right corner of the screen, or roughly the bottom right corner, you will see an oxygen meter. I already upgraded my well, my suit once, so I have some longer range of oxygen, but when you first start off, you only have, I do believe, let me pick this thing up here. Hey, 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 reach for it. Reach for it. Oxygen bottle, this is not cool, dog. I'm over here. Okay, you know, fuck you. I don't want you after, okay? I'll take this one. I'll take your friend. You jerk. It was determined not to let me get him. You saw how persistent that guy was? What a dick. Anyway, you could rotate as well. I, I don't really, um, you know, like that too much. It makes me kind of feel awkward. So, um, you could also go and level yourself with the middle mouse button. You could ascend and ascend. There's some nice water effects. I'll tell you this much right now. The game is beautiful. There is really not too much to render in the game, so maybe that's why it looks a bit more neater. But honestly, for a studio that I'm not really too familiar with, I gotta tell you, this looks beautiful, and it runs spectacular as well. I have no issues with like running this game whatsoever. Of course, I do have a semi-decent um, rig, so that might help out here a little bit, but even so, the game plays marvelous so far. These right here are going to be oxygen filters as well. I have done some progress in the game, as I mentioned. I have already upgraded my suit once, and I've brought some power back to the base over here. Now, if you crash into, like, walls or different type of debris, it's going to actually hurt your suit, which is already, you know, damaged to begin with from the crash. So um, that's going to actually make you waste more energy, or not energy, but oxygen as well. So you definitely want to make sure you don't, you know, bump into stuff over here. It can be sometimes a bit difficult because of the whole floating feature. It might be easier with the virtual reality concept, but I don't know. I'm over here playing it, like, you know, just regularly, mouse and keyboard over here. So right now, we are at the Hand 4 Vocalis. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going to speak over any sort of dialogue over here for you guys as well. Let's see what's over here available. Vocalist communication arrays offline. Manual activation required for outgoing communications to mission control. Communications array repair override enabled. Manual array alignment required. 
All right, so let's kind of give you like your your points of interest in a sense, what you're supposed to be doing over here. Obviously, your main goal is to contact Mission Control so you get rescued. Obviously, you know, if you're in space, you can't just, you know, take your astronaut ass just back down to Earth. Oh, speaking of Earth, it's going to be down over here, I do believe. No, it's just some debris. Okay, never mind. So right now we have at least three different points of interest. It does seem we have to get to those points and to either fix the issue and try to get it underway. Um, as I mentioned, this is going to be one of those games where you go from point A to point B to point C. So it's not a game for everybody, I will admit right now. If you could definitely enjoy a good story and especially amazing graphics, this game is for you. Or if you have the whole virtual reality Oculus thing happening, this is a game I would definitely encourage you to pick up just because of the entire visuals of it. I can really imagine this looking pretty neat with the entire, you know scope of a 3D type of um, virtual reality aspect, but you know, again, it's not really required, so if you don't have Core one... Core EVA suit critically damaged. Core EVA systems operating at 51%. Hand for EVA emergency repair required. Don't worry too much about it. <laughs> I'm trying not to talk over that. You'll hear a lot of that, mind you. Ooh, is it another repair for us? Hold up. This might be another repair. Now, this is how slow you move regularly. Uh, I want to say at some point, like, you know, your suit is really damaged when you start off, so I first got the um, oxygen upgrade, which brought me from a 4 point up to an 8 point. Maybe somewhere down the line you pick up, like, some sort of propulsion system. Repair sequence complete. Vital sign stable. Where you could possibly, um, you know, I guess speed up here a little bit, because when you hold down shift, this is basically how fast you go with shift, and if I let it go of shift right now, that's how fast you go, so there's not really much of a difference over here. Although, it's supposed to kind of make you go a bit faster. So, this is kind of what the game entails itself fast. So, it's a game that's honestly not for everybody. If you could definitely enjoy a game like, say, Layers of Fear without the spooks, you know, where you go from one area to the other one. You will hear a lot of that, too. Like, there's always, like, a constant, like, you know, communication coming in from Mission Control, but, you know, you can't really contact them. Your point right now is to get entire contact with them. So until that actually happens, there's not really much communication happening on your part. So it's a really good isolation feel for the game as well. Um, what I've... It's pretty... It's one of the things I'm supposed to repair, I guess. Everything that I'm going to, by the way, you can tell by my bottom left corner. There is indeed a... You know, like, uh, telling you, like, you see in the bottom left corner, you see that big triangle, that's kind of like your point of interest right here, so... You're never really quite lost. If you ever feel kind of lost, just move around, follow that, and I'm pretty sure you'll stumble upon what you're supposed to be doing. He says that as he gets lost here completely. Let's see. I don't think I could do anything right there right now, but soon enough I probably... Let's open this up here first. How's my oxygen? We're at five, that's pretty cool. I would also encourage you, um, do not use up your oxygen tanks too often, like the ones you see floating around. Only one is enough to completely fill up your entire meter, so sometimes you feel like just because you're low you have to like take more than one. Just one is more than enough to kind of get everything back into control here. Warning. There's also going to be collectibles. Emergency escape vehicles offline. Core systems repair required for launch. That's what you want to hear. There's also going to be like collectibles in the game, which uh, I'm not sure what those unlock just yet, but I'm sure it's going to be for something. If I run into one right now, I'll try to pick it up just so you can check it out. Let us... Actually, let me level out here. Personal log. Astronaut. Lopez. Teresa. 12. December. 2036. EVA comp picked up another random sat transmission on the way back in from a bay door repair today. <laughs> Pieces of the JFK moon speech. Stop me dead in my tracks. I studied that speech at Hardeman Academy. It was a major inspiration. It felt like Kennedy was speaking directly to me then, and even more so now. There is no strife, no prejudice, no national conflict in outer space as yet. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind, and its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. This mission, Spiritus, Luna 2, is that opportunity for mankind. So that was way too close. <laughs> that was just way too close. I didn't think I was going to make that one. Um, I'll be honest with you, I am pretty lost now. 
I am pretty lost. I, I thought I knew exactly where I was going here just following that thing along. I know I'm supposed to fix something over here. Is it this me mechanism? That's where I just came from, isn't it? That's where I came from. There is sometimes, I will admit, like, issues with what exactly am I supposed to be, like, interacting with. Like, maybe that was a bit more obvious at times. Like, you know, I don't expect the game to handhold me the entire way, but... There's just a lot of, like, you know, things, and it doesn't make it too obvious what you're supposed to be interacting with exactly. Like, for instance, you see this, um, can't not the canister, but this container right here, it glows, right? So you're thinking you can interact with that, you can't interact with those whatsoever. I really do believe it's somewhere along the lines of this area, though. Let's not smash into that, because we're hurting ourselves here. Stop that. Maybe it is downstairs after. Maybe I got too overwhelmed. Came up here for nothing. Yeah. Oh! Is it you? I get the feel- yep, it's you. Okay. Hey, I wasn't completely off here. Uh-huh. Let me just go ahead and descend now. Technically, I shouldn't have even have floated up here. I could have just descended regularly. Would have been a lot easier. But no, no, I had to just go the other way. But as you saw, right, um... Oop. 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 You stop it now. Should be an oxygen area right here. But as you saw, like, what can be a bit confusing at times was that we had that little triangle on our little map, right? But it, because of the fact that the game is completely, like, you know, open base around you, there is no, like, you know, hey, you're supposed to be going down this way, but once you get over here, you're supposed to go up, you're supposed to go down, so you kind of have to figure it out then, which I guess is the game's way of not completely hand-holding you the entire way. But the problem is, since there is the entire oxygen mechanic as well, you don't really have all the time in the world to investigate. And it's one of the, my issues with the game as well, that there is um, a lot of scenery to kind of check out. But because you're constantly on edge because of the oxygen, it doesn't... It doesn't like give you enough time to kind of like really soak it all in, you know. And it feels like a, you know, it's obviously like a survival mechanic. I would tell you, this right here is like the first time that the game's being difficult, manual where it's just like manual communication. Uh, 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 I make it. Okay, I just need to get over there without getting smashed by this thing over here. This is like the first real like you know difficult area I've ever encountered. Everything so far has been like you know literally just floating from one area to the other one. So that little obstacle right there is kind of actually neat. But, as I mentioned, the entire, like, there's a survival mechanism in the game which is done through the entire Ostean system over here. For version 2.3. Internal system repair and data restructure in progress. Oh, good. You're recovering. It's good to hear. So, the entire, like, survival mechanic that's added to the game is done through the Ostean. It's kind of like, you know, your, your hunger and survival games, your, you know, thirst meter, your sleeping meter. None of that's over here available, instead it's kind of like substituted. Beeping. I hear beeping. It's substituted by the oxygen, which is fine, but at the same time, you know, the game is so pretty that I just want to hang out a while and kind of soak it all in, really, but... I guess the way to encourage you to keep Warning. progressing over here. Hand for Administra, Series 4, version 2.3. Unable to establish communication connection with mission control. Ground control, Major Tom. So, right now we have to do two more of these, it does seem. We have another area through this side, and another one over there, because this thing obviously pointed out that three different areas need to be corrected before we could actually initiate whatever it is we're going to initiate with that one. I'll probably start heading to- oh, here we go, we have a collect- Come here. Alright. It's going to be my three of twenty-five. I thought I had like three before. I wonder if my last one wasn't completely saved. Oh, we're outside. Cool. So this will be a good point to kind of um, wrap up the video. I wanted to show off some of the outside mechanics as well. Um, when you're outside, it should be noted that you do um, leak oxygen more fast. Ooh. Mission control to Commander Oshima. Hand for Administra is online and able to support you as a lifeline where we are unable to. Over. Ooh. That looks pretty neat. It's kind of unsettling, I will admit. <laughs> that whole beeping with the voice over there, the, the robotic voice happening. It, 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 the game can be unsettling. It's not like, you know, a horror game by any means, but the isolation feel. That's why I really think that it, the game really probably would um, value a bit more if you have the entire virtual reality gimmick going on, because 
I could see the entire encapsulation on your part over here just making it sound more, or at least feel more claustrophobic, really. Is that? Communications array detected. Is that? No, well, the door's right here, but it's just random debris or what? I've never seen this type of debris in the game so far. No? Just random debris? Okay. This is our goal right here. I, I can tell you this much. I'm not entirely sure why that planet... <laughs> maybe it's nighttime or something. But um, usually when you're outside in space, like you can see the Earth. Like a really, really amazing view of Earth. But um, I'm not sure what the hell it is that we're seeing right there because it doesn't look like Earth anymore. It's like the big twist in the game. Somehow you jump through some sort of black hole. You're not really on Earth anymore. See another collectible over there, I want to say. Mission date, 8 July 2037. Yeah, I kind of need you as soon as possible. Come on. Don't die on me. Got you. Ooh wee. That was a close one. Most of the times the game will kind of, um... Make you believe you're gonna die when you're going from one point to the other one in terms of the whole um, oxygen thing, but you'll always have just about enough time, I want to say, to make it. So let me level out, and we'll just extend regularly, because we know what we're looking for. Astronaut Lopez, Teresa, 31, October 2036. As a kid, I would dress up as an astronaut every year for Halloween. We never had any money, so my costume was always whatever my mother could pull together. Which was never quite enough, but always made with love. I remember being made fun of at school. You're poor. You're a girl. You'll never amount to anything. It didn't matter. I shut it all out. Nothing was going to stop me. I still carry an old photo of me as an astronaut on each and every mission, as a reminder of how far I've come. This is all I've ever wanted. Nope. Should probably stop banging to this stuff over there. So that was like a random um, journal. Usually you'll find those, like you'll find like terminals you can't interact with, you'll find some emails, it'll be kind of like interaction between your character and one of the crew members or something, or mission control and your crew member. Uh, I want to say the overall theme of what I've gotten so far is the fact that your character was under extreme pressure from mission control. Like, there is an email that kind of hints at the idea of your character just kind of being, like, um, scrutinized. Oh. Complete. Probably should not be smashing into that. But your character was being scrutinized, essentially, where, you know, you kind of had no choice but to succeed, so you might have pushed I don't know, the envelope a bit too much in terms of trying to get success with this mission. And again, I can't really tell you what the what exactly happened because I'm not really too familiar with it just yet. But, you know, it's up to you to kind of figure it out little by little exactly what indeed happened over here. But I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Well, not really the episode, but the one shot anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let's actually go back outside one more time here. Yeah, I'll smash into shit because I want to. I want to go into space over here. I'm going to probably die from it. That's okay. I want to have you guys see what it looks like out here before we do wrap it up. It's a really beautiful game, so... I would feel kind of upset if I didn't show this off. Let me go out into space over here. It's a bad idea, you're going the wrong way, yeah, I'm... Oh, you can't even do it, I'm not being allowed to do that. Oh, that's electrical. Probably it. Maybe through here? There we go, I think. The game is giving me like an invisible wall suddenly. That's surprising. It hasn't done that so far. Yeah, it's beating me up so I die just so I can learn a lesson here. I wanted to show off the earth over here, but we are dying. This is going to make me die. I will respawn, you know, so on. Ooh, that's pretty. Check that out over there. But yeah, if you enjoyed the game, description below will have all the information you guys need to check it out on your own accord. And if you have a virtual reality type of setup here, I would definitely encourage it then. I will catch you next time.